Hello everybody, Salty D Hyena here. Welcome to another bot build showcase. Today we're checking out the Hammer MAO, former top dog of this game, and this bot used to rule the meta back in 1. Point something. In 2.0 it got the nerf to its speed, making it in my opinion unviable. Now it's gotten a slight boost and well this is the build that I'm liking. I'm running all light armors, uh, AFPS because that's what I had and now also I'm ready to just upgrade for heavies if I want to. I run accelerator on my feet for uh, agility and system hardening for uh, extra longevity. On my hammers I run a single magazine and three automations. Uh, they're not fully T-treed, so you'll see the sides have the sides are identical, and the top has a slightly faster unload speed. So basically, this is a highly agile uh, close quarter fighter that peeks out of cover and unloads real quick. I'm gonna check him out. In these two clips that we're gonna see now. Uh, we're, uh, they're actually cla from clan matches, the Iron Smiles versus the Feared Soviet Union. So these are some of the very best players in the game on both sides. So you need to keep that in mind when you evaluate this Hammer MAO build. Now, uh, I'm usually not comfortable piloting sprinting bots that can't out-sprint shots. But I've found that the knife-fighting abilities of this brawler, the high agility it has when it's not sprinting, uh, weighs up for that one weakness. Uh, I'm not running EM circuits on this boy either, because I'm not seeing myself engaging lights all that often. I'm gonna be at a disadvantage against lights and when I'm not able to out sprint them I don't see why I should go all in and try and make that as good as a, a, a good a match as possible. In this match SU ran a lot of tormentor builds especially tormentor mites they were they're, they're quite a pest to be honest but um, I'm not too worried about them. Uh, as you can see, I'm using my agility to just stay mostly in cover until I get line of sight at someone. Uh, like that guy, I should actually have tried to fight him. I don't know why I did. We're, we're playing quite defensively. Um, and they say they are also playing quite defensively. We finally killed a Tormentor Mite on their side, uh, opening up this uh, right side for us here. In team deathmatch in competitive play against. Uh, <laughs> When we're playing against SU, for instance, the game often re just becomes this trench warfare kind of game where uh, we now have a single point lead and that means that they have to attack us. And so that's why we're playing really defensively here, because when they're at attacking, they're at a disadvantage. And I'm, re I'm really liking this hammer build. Uh, I'm still not sure if uh, if the hammer MIO is uh, good enough to run competitively, really. Uh, but th this particular build, I'm, I'm really liking it, spe especially the agility you have when you're knife fighting. And and let's face it, you you want to be in a position where you're knife fighting when you're playing a hammer MIO. And also, like, avoiding javelins really, really easy in this build. And so, if, it, if I only had, like, 
a little bit more speed when I was sprinting. If I had another leg slot, I think I could make this a build that would be truly terrifying. As it is now, I find like that it's slightly underwhelming. I think if perhaps the hammers got a damage buff, or if the MIO became even a tiny bit faster, it might have, this build might become one of my favorite builds. Um, but as it is, I find it slightly underperforms. So I dyed the rest of this footage you'll see in my Sting Nale video. And this is another video. Same teams against each other. Same bot. So, yeah. I'm going up right here first. Until I notice that Tormentor Might. And Tormentor Might is a lovely new addition to the meta that we all truly, truly... Uh, we're truly excited that they're here. That's what we've been needing for all this time. Tormentor Might, eh? But luckily I have all this awesome agility that lets me run around and take out other bots pretty easily. So yeah, uh, this is, I, I'd say this is an, an, if you like piloting the MAO, you should definitely try this build. Because the agility it has is pretty awesome. I just wish that the hammer is packed like a bigger punch or, or yeah. Or if it was just a tiny bit faster. It's definitely interesting. And yeah. Uh, the walking speed it has is... Yeah. I, I like it. I like it a lot. It just suffers from not being one of the better bots. Because I find the Ravager to be superior. And I find... To be honest, I think... Uh, the Nelly is better than the MAO as well. But so this is my this might simply be a personal preference. And my chest is gone and my core is red. I guess this is goodbye pretty soon. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.